You guys, we are live at, uh, at Ballet Fantastique. This is their rehearsal for their upcoming Christmas Carol. That's going to be happening in Florence, in Bandon, and also in Eugene. Um, all three towns are going to have it. And um, so we're here. Dave Kammerer is uh, our sponsor today. And he's really close to the ballet and the people in the ballet. So we're going to see a little rehearsal here. How are we going to the Yeah, uh, I think we're already out.
Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Thank you. You should really see it from fun. upstairs. <laughs> it looks really cool. So <laughs> introduce yourself. I'm Hannah Von Trigger. I'm the executive director of Ballet Fantastique so and also is, dancer and so Mrs. Fuzzy Wake in this scene. So what is ballet? For those who don't know, what is Ballet Fantastique? Ballet Fantastique is all original ballet like you've never seen it before, kind of like what we just did. Um, so what we strive to do is take a classic story like Christmas Carol and put a twist on it. So in this case, it's Haley Loren, who's here with us today, singing jazz um, songs from the 40s and 50s. That's so you, so you guys really kind of take things and make it completely different. Yeah, we sure do. And so it's kind of like, like really, um, I, I'm going to use the word hip just because I don't know I what think it's pretty hip. I think it's really hip. Yeah. It's hip ballet. We're out of the box. You're out of the box. Yeah. And, that's, and you guys are now a company of the Holt Center as we well. We have been a resident company of the Holt Center since 2014, the first new resident company in over a decade. And that's huge. It's a big deal. It's a really, really big deal. Yeah. And so what are you trying to bring to ballet? We are trying to not replicate the wonderful art that's already been created for many, many generations, but our goal is to bring new audiences to the theater who might not have ever thought ballet is for them. So somebody who might think, I would go see Aladdin set to Queen music with set in love orchestra, that kind of thing. And that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, that's what we just did last May, and we did four sold out shows, um, and we're getting ready to do Zorro in March. So tell us about the Christmas Carol so people know. So Christmas Carol is Charles Dickens' story, but we've reimagined it like, what if Charles Dickens fuses with Ella Fitzgerald? So we set it in the US in the 1940s, and the idea is that Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future are all female spirits who dance with Scrooge. So we can introduce you to some of those dancers today. Um, and then the past will be in the 20s, the present is in the 40s, and the future is in the 50s. Wow. It's really fun. So who comes up with these ideas? Um, Donna, who's right over there, okay. our artistic director, and I work with a wonderful team of creatives, and we brainstorm, and sometimes an idea just feels right. Is that the fun part? It's sometimes really fun and sometimes really hard. I think it's really hard. Because it is really hard. You come up with something, okay, and, and mm -hmm. the audience has to like it, and mm -hmm. they always do. But yeah. you're doing some now. This Haley Lauren, you you and she used to sit in, with each other at South we Eugene did. High School. We did. We went to class. high school together. And Haley, Haley's come amazing. here. Come here, Haley. Haley came down too. If you guys, oh, well, I'm not even gonna say that. You have to know who Haley is. There's <laughs> ha, Haley Lauren, I feel like number one jazz singer in Japan. Ah. I'm going to brag right. about you. <laughs> I've run to her CDs, or now they're not CDs, but you know, when I was younger, yes. I ran to your CDs. So you did this, you are the, the background music, you're the, the vocal for this. Yes. What do you love about doing this, Haley? Well, I've never ever before this, before 2014 when we first did this production, been able to do a concert that went along with live dancing, which is a pretty amazing thing to be able to be part of. Theater, dance, and music all in once. Ah! Because awesome. Haley is singing while you're there in the audience. Yes. She's over to the side right. with the band and doing this whole thing, because right. I've seen this, and you, um, it, it is as live as you get. Yes, it is live soundtrack. It is, I, we get to be theatrical, we get to you know, integrate what we do with the, the moves that the dancers make. It's very, um, it's, a, uh, it's all one big piece. So you, you, you two were in class together? Little yes. South, little South <laughs> Eugene High School graduates? We were in several classes together. We graduated did, at the same time. Did you, I mean, were you kind of knowing what you were going to do? And was she, were, like, did she dance down the halls and you went down the halls singing? You know, it's funny. The first time I found out that she was a ballet dancer, um, we were both doing a high school talent show at oh, South seriously? Eugene. The same one. I was singing Fever with a stand-up bassist. And she was out there doing a, a ballet piece. And so I think both of us discovered what each other was up to at the but, same performance. But did you ever, <laughs> you never thought, okay, someday we're going to be no, working together? No, no, never, never even crossed my mind. Because you travel the world. Well, I didn't know I would at that point. But, um, but, but you do. Yes, I do. And yes. you're kind of a big deal. <laughs> I can say it. She's kind of a pretty big deal. You know, I Some love that. Like I it. love the high heel song. Oh, uh, yes. That song is all too true. <laughs> it's called the High Heel Blues. So how do, you could do one little yeah. bar. Uh, I could, I could. You wanna? I, I'm not wearing the proper foot attire, but I can fake it. Okay, okay. People say to me, Haley, oh, 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 oh. You don't sing the blues, oh, no, no, no. I tell them they're wrong, oh, yes, I do. Cause I sing the blues each time I wear these shoes. Ooh, ooh, mm. 
And you guys, it is such a funny song because it's talking about the woman going in the store and the guy says, oh, you should buy them. And the woman says, no, I know they're too small, but she buys them anyway. And how many of you have done that? Yeah, and my wife has a hundred times. So she sings this song at her concerts and, and everybody goes crazy because we all know it. We do. And it's so ad-lib too and everything. Well. It's very good. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> Thank you. So the show is, I'll get, you know what? Okay. Okay, so, so tell people when the show is so, for our Florence viewers too, because I'm going to put okay. this on a Florence paid and abandoned. Wonderful. So we're performing December 8th. This is Donna Bontrager, our artistic director. My mom. Donna's She's next. She's amazing. We're oh. getting interviewed next. Okay. Okay. So we're performing December 8th in Bandon. That's mm -hmm. this Friday. December 9th in Florence at 7 p.m. at the Florence Event Center, and then Thursday, December 14th, we're doing an outreach show for local kids. That's almost sold out. That's at the Holt Center, and then December 15th, 16th, and 17th at the Holt Center. Um, and that's almost sold out as well. So you want people to so get their people, tickets early. People need to get their tickets mm -hmm. now. They do. And so. BFAN's last, I think, 10 shows in a row sold out. Wow. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Uh, okay. Gustavo and I have to rehearse. So here's Okay. Donna. So you guys rehearse. Donna, come here. This is mom. Oh, okay. I was going to watch. Are you supposed to tell them what to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you still get to tell your daughter what to okay. do, don't you? Yes, I do. So tell me about, how did this all start with you? Were you into ballet before then, obviously? Um, yeah, since the early 80s, I was dancing and studying in New York State and um, then moved back here in 1995 and started my own school and company um, and my daughters, there's two of them that I uh, love to, you know, have them be dancers. It's really great. I sort of planned that from before Let's they were born. <laughs> so, <laughs> they didn't have it. They were gonna, yeah. This is going to be their heredity, right? right. Here, I'm going to do something. I'm going to okay. put this on them, and then you and I can oh, just okay. talk. Okay. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. So, so, when did you know she was going to do this? Um, In the womb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just I thought if I had daughters that I would um, actually have them um, be dancers. A lot, <laughs> so of that's what you did. a lot of work goes <laughs> into this. Yeah. 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 So, how much time, I mean, how much time does it take to practice for this stuff? Well, we pretty much figured out that it takes an hour to do one minute of choreography if you're building, you know, from scratch, uh -huh. you're making up your own. Um, if you're rehearsing something that, you know, we've say done before, um, it maybe doesn't take as long. And then also, we. Um, Okay. Well, we we just um, sometimes get inspiration for, for you know things, but honestly, we really pretty much do our own thing. You guys, scratch. it really is. Real. That's the whole idea between. Uh, this, yeah, we huh? just create the whole thing. You love so, this, don't you? I do. I like it. Yes. How fun mm -hmm. to have your kids do it mm -hmm. so well like that too. And your other daughter, yeah. does she dance in this one as well? Yeah, she is in this one too. Okay. She's um, one of the Christmas okay. spirits. In American Christmas Carol, and she is also a character called Marilyn. So Marilyn is Scrooge's old love, and he goes into the past and sees her again. He's sorry he didn't pay more attention to her. <laughs> thank you so much for letting yeah. us come in here and do this. Okay, it's thank beautiful. You. No, you're welcome. Okay. I'm gonna go grab Dave here for a okay. second. Okay, Dave, come here. We're gonna keep watching. It's, it's kind of kind of sad to put it on two ugly dudes like us when there's a beautiful woman out there dancing. All right. <laughs> so, so Dave, you've us. known them yeah, for, for many years. They're part. Of, I mean, they're obviously part of the Eugene community. But this is a this is an artistic family legacy. If you haven't figured that out, mom and daughters, and it goes deeper than that. But they're these guys have really made a big effort uh, to bring dance as a, a commercial art into this this community. So yeah, Dave is with, with Summit it. Funding <clears throat> and he's also on the board of the Eugene Symphony which we're going to be there in a couple weeks because there's a show coming up that we're going to take you and introduce you to the conductor and all that kind of stuff. But you're, you, your parents, you're really into art because your parents were mu into music big time. Yeah. Oh. You know the School of Music is actually the School of Music and Dance at the U of O. Yeah, and that's where your parents were, your dad was a teacher there, right? Yeah, that's where they met years ago, they were students. Really? That's how my parents met. Yeah. Huh, that's crazy. That's fun. So when you met these folks and they're bringing, it's, it's, it's just nice to have, we have Eugene Ballet, which is awesome with the Nutcracker. This brings another different type of ballet to town. We can, you can never have too much of this in, a, in our community. No, um, these, as you can tell, these folks, uh, they're, 
they're super artistic and creative. I mean, they, they came up, this is a fusion type of dance that they're doing. Uh, the story is very, very interesting. I mean, I find it, it's fascinating. I think it's really sweet, too, that the, um, it's mom and daughters and family How many putting, you putting it together. That? And they're so into it. Well, they're really, really good. I mean, these guys are pros. Uh, they're high level. I think we're very fortunate to have them in our community. And so I believe that we're supporting them. I think we can support them more and keep them around. Uh, I love that she said that their last two shows were sold out. So, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it doesn't surprise me, but no. that they're they're starting to come into their own, but I want them to have a lot more exposure. Yeah, so they tell you guys. Out. So this is something you guys and and they and she was saying, I don't know if you heard Dave, she was also saying that they're going to be doing a show for kids, school kids. Yeah. And those are almost sold out. Um, because they want to introduce people in this community, children and all of us, into a, a different style of ballet um, that may be something that is a, attractive to other people. I don't know if you noticed, I think one of their students, who obviously a younger girl, she came in and was watching the rehearsal. And she, I can see her seeing herself in this. This is a, a young lady, and she's seen them perform at this level. I mean, they probably have lots of people like that. They're leading a lot of people to this dance. And again, it's here in Eugene. These people don't have to go off to New York somewhere to do this. Right. I talked to a couple of the young ladies who are dancing here, and they're they're from Eugene. They're from here, so that's what you that's what you Local want. talent done really really well. So you guys, again, I'm going to grab the poster here because I'm going to tell you while I'm showing this. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. It's there. That's the poster. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you. So, again, this is it. December 15th and 16th, through the 16th, at the Holt Center. Through the 17th. Yeah, Rick, did you pick up? 15th and soon? through the 17th. 15th, 16th, 17th. 15th, 16th, and 17th. And then again, when is Bandon? This Friday. Yes. Bandon is this coming Friday, the 8th. And then the 9th in Florence. And 9th is in Florence. Yeah, we're so you guys will be able to get tickets as well. I have the phone number at the top, so you know kind of where you can go. And Haley the Lauren. Is the best way to get tickets because otherwise the whole center won't be able to give people tickets for people. Say that again. Hang on, hang on. Um, to get tickets, go to the BFAN website, which is balletfantastique.org. That's, where That's you the get best your tickets. place because there's different phone numbers for everybody. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna dance again? Yep. With music? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> So Are you local too? No, he's from Columbia. You're from Columbia? Yeah, he was here to dance with us. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's awesome, dude. Okay, we're going to get you doing your ghost thing. Yes. 
you play. I knew I was going to get caught once. <laughs> Fantastique. This is their rehearsal for their upcoming Christmas Carol Ballet. It's going on in Florence, in Bandon, and in Eugene. And you need to go to their website to get your tickets. And the show is sponsored by Dave Cameron of Summit Funding. So if you would do us a favor to take this and share it on your page, let people know what's going on. That would be awesome. All right, you guys.